thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for April the 2nd to April the 8th. And as always, if you like this reading, as I always say, please like or subscribe if you'd like to, or leave a comment if you'd like to. I'd really appreciate it. I'm just going to get on with your reading for Scorpio. So the first card you have for your past is, yes, the devil. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate looking at this card, but I'm going to have to look at this card. You know, even if this card's on the top of the pack of cards, I have to put it at the bottom because I hate it if it's on the top. I hate looking at it. Um, but yes, I have to look at it to do this reading. So there's someone, there's someone there, or there could have been someone in your past you're still not able to let go of, or you won't you weren't able to at this time it's either at that time or now you still can't let go of this person so this person had a really strong hold on you or the feeling that you had around this person had a strong hold on you it was like you're addicted to a feeling almost it's like you didn't want to lose that feeling you didn't want to let that feeling go and yes you could have actually moved away from this person physically um, but you still have these kind of feelings about this person or you did at this time and i'm seeing this um I'm just feeling this backwards and forwards energy with this as well. So you might have gone backward and forward with this person a few times. You might have split up and gone back together or something like that. And this is a love situation, definitely. You can see these two, this couple here. And also, you know, if you look at the position of this devil's legs, they're forming the shape of a heart as well. So if you look at that and these two people have a heart, and what I'm seeing is that this is a this is like this devil is forming this heart with its legs to try and make you think that you're bound by love to this person, but you are not. You are chained. You're both chained to this devil. That's what I'm seeing. I'm horrible. Well, not literally. It's horrible, isn't it? So you're chained to this situation. You might feel that you're linked by love because you might think, oh, I'm linked to this person by love and, and all of these things. No, you're both chained to the devil with this making its legs look like a heart so you think you're in love with this person that's what i'm seeing i'm sorry if that's what you're feeling still but you are really um chained to this person and it's not good if this resonates and you're still in this situation try to see what this really is try to see this for what it is because you know love should be um it should feel like i really love being around this person i love being with this person when i see them smile i feel so happy I just want to spend my time with them. I love being with them. That's what love should feel like. It shouldn't feel like, oh, I can't keep away from this person. I'm so upset when I'm away from them. When I'm away from them, when I'm with them, I don't feel amazing, but I just feel like I have to be with them. No, that's not what it is. That's a kind of an obsession. And that's the kind of the thing the devil tries to trick you into thinking that this is really love. It really isn't. I'm sorry, I'm in a noisy place. As you all know, I keep on complaining about the noise. But yes, I'm sorry if you're in this situation. Um, the next card you have for your past is, yes, the tower. You have the devil and the tower. Yes, I won't say sorry. I say sorry all the time. I get in trouble. Uh, but I am. Um, yes, whatever you had with this person, if you still have whatever this is with this person, this needs to come down. This needs to end. And, you know, this is based on shaky foundations. That's what I'm seeing. It's going to come down eventually anyway. And, you know, love's kind. Again, love's kind. Love's calm. Love is beautiful. It's not horrible. It's not feeling anxious. It's not feeling like everything's going to collapse at any minute and I have to tiptoe around this person. And if I don't, it's going to all fall down and they're going to yell or I'm going to have a horrible time or I... You know, I miss them, but when I'm with them, I just feel really uneasy all the time. No, that's not what love is at all. I'm sorry. But again, you know, if this resonates and you're still around this person, please try to move away from this person. You can have real love in your future. You can feel what this is really going to feel like, but not if you're around this person. Even if you're not around them physically, you're still feeling like this about this person. Try to get away from this person. That's what I'm seeing. Try. I know it's not easy. Just try to, just try to. This person might be, I'm just saying this person might be trying to make it difficult for you to leave them or they might have done this when you tried to leave them in the past or something like that because I'm seeing you trying to leave at several times and you could have been stopped for some reason. I don't know if that makes sense. That's just what I'm seeing. The last card you have you passed is the Seven of Pentacles. So yes, I'm seeing two things here. I'm seeing this is telling you to look back on what's happened in your past with this person and really learn from what's happened and move on from that. But I'm also seeing that this is pentacles. So this is some sort of 
um, there's something you wanted to manifest, I'm seeing. You really wanted to do that. You started to do this thing and then you had to stop this thing for some reason. This is something you wanted to do, something you wanted to manifest, something you wanted to achieve. You had to stop that. And probably because this devil person was causing you a lot of angst, a lot of problems, you've probably had them on your mind. It was stopping you from actually doing anything um, productive with this thing. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, um, if you keep on having this person around you, you won't be able to concentrate on things properly. And so yes, again, get rid of this person and then you can continue with this thing that you wanted to do. But you can only do that when you get rid of this person. And yes, this stress, these emotions, this person, whoever this is, was really clouding um, everything you were seeing. That's what I'm seeing. And I really hope you've gotten away from this situation. I really, really hope you have. The first card you have for your present is the Four of Wands. Coming back home, coming back to love, coming back to someone who cares about you. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this is someone who accepts you for who you are in the Four of Wands. This could be family, but I'm actually seeing, no, it's probably not family. This is probably a friend. This is probably a friend that you've spent lots of time with, an old friend that you know very, very well. I'm seeing that you probably aren't you probably don't see them as often as you like, but when you see them, it's like, you know, it's like you were only speaking to them yesterday. It's this very rare, special friendship that only a very few people have, and you have that. You know, and it's, this is comfort. This is how you feel around this person. You can just be yourself. This is how it feels like around people you love. This is why, I can just see now why, this card came out there and the devil came out there. Look at that, you can compare them. One's there, one's there. Okay, so we'll look on. You feel so comfortable, you feel so relaxed. You feel yourself when you're with this friend in the Four of Wands. When you're with this devil person, look how you feel there. The, the people in the Four of Wands are waving their arms around, cheering and happy. The people in the devil card are looking so serious and miserable. They're chained, they're stuck, they can't move. It's horrible. Look at the difference. This is showing you, this is how you should feel around people you love. You should feel comfortable. You should feel happy. That's how you should feel. This is what this is showing you. Learn from this. This is what I'm seeing. If you're still around this person, please get away from this person. The next card you have, not, not your friend, obviously the devil person. The next card you have, your present, is the empress. So yes, again, this is about this friend. This is probably a female friend I'm seeing here. You feel totally comfortable with this person. And I'm seeing you probably speaking to this person, or you are going to be, or you are now. This is in your present. You're probably speaking to this person, and you're probably pouring your heart out to this person. I keep on seeing the, t the words, pour your heart out, because I'm looking at this beautiful, beautiful empress. And there's a stream running around behind the tree. It's running around and it's pouring down right next to this empress, right near her feet, right near her there. So it's like you're pouring your emotions out to this person. And this person's so kind, this person's so serene, and this person doesn't judge you. She's going to be there to help you. And you know, you can pour your heart out to this person. You feel so comfortable with her. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have, your present, is the King of Cups. So yes, this is really good. I'm seeing that probably you're speaking to this person. This is helping you to pour everything out of yourself and you're going to start to get on top of your emotions at this time. You're still a little bit emotional, but you're going to be getting over this. You're going to be getting more in control of this. And I'm seeing this is probably the time that you might Think about starting whatever this project was in the Seven of Pentacles that you stopped doing. You might start to take this up again, or at least think about it, or at least plan this. So it's like you're starting to claw your way up again out of this terrible pit you're in with this horrible devil, and you're feeling comfortable around someone, and that's helped you to kind of raise yourself up a little bit now. That's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing that this thing that you've dropped, that you're trying to start up again, could be something about creativity. It might be something creative. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing imagination. I'm seeing exploring your imagination. So the first card you have for your future is the King of Pentacles. So yes, I'm seeing you making a decision about something. And this is... um. I'm seeing a finality here. This is going to be a final decision. I'm definitely seeing finality here. Maybe you 
go back and forward with this decision for a while. And this could be surrounding money I'm seeing. This could be something about making a large purchase. You might have to make some sort of large purchase. And I'm seeing that, you know, you're thinking about, or you're going to be thinking about making this decision. It, it's obviously around money. It's around spending money. That's okay. It's probably something you have to do. And, you know, even if it's something fun, that's fine. You're still going to be going backward and forward thinking about that. You're probably going to be online looking at different prices of different things, finding the best one, what's the best deal, what's going on here, that kind of thing. You're checking things. I'm just seeing that, you know, when you make this purchase or when you go to make this purchase, make sure everything's signed properly. I'm seeing signing papers. Just make sure everything's checked properly. Just make sure everything's done properly before you go ahead with this. I'm not saying don't go ahead with this. I'm not saying someone's trying to cheat you. I'm not saying anything terrible is going to happen. I'm just seeing that, you know, if you look at the King of Pentacles, he sits there very carefully, very, you know, he's not going anywhere. He has lots of heavy things around him. He has lots of vines, grape vines around him. He can hardly move. He's sitting there. He's not moving or going anywhere. He's very solid where he is. Now, you could be trying to rush this, this decision a bit, and that might make you make a mistake, not overlook something. You might forget something. Don't rush anything. Take your time. Really check over any everything you see. That's what I'm seeing now with this um, King of Pentacles. So the next card you have for your future is the Nine of Cups. So yes, the Nine of Cups. This guy looks like a kind of a dodgy salesman. Now, I'm not saying that this is a dodgy thing you're going to buy. I'm not saying someone's trying to cheat you. I'm not saying this is what's happening. But I'm seeing that this is an indication to you that you have to really make sure you know what's going on. Um, this man's sitting in front of a curtain and, you know, what's behind the curtain? You don't know. That's what I'm seeing there. So have a look behind the curtain. Look at everything. Go around behind him and look behind there. Look underneath. Check everything. Check, you know, everything you can see. Check. Check the, the paperwork. Check the words. Check what's there. Check what you can't see. Look at everything. Just look at everything. That's what I'm seeing. Before you go ahead, make sure you've checked everything. Same thing again. So the last card you have for your future is the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> yes, I'm laughing because this is about... Just because you have to check everything, just because you have to go through everything, and it is a large purchase, I am seeing that, it is something that you're going to have to spend a lot on. Don't think that you have to not spend anything ever. Don't think that you have to be afraid of this. Don't think that you have to be hanging on to your money and never spend it. I'm not meaning that you have to be scared or anything like that. It might be a little bit scary, but no, you don't have to do that. Don't be afraid of this. If you do genuinely feel like saying no, if you feel like this isn't for you, yes, of course, say no. I'm not saying don't say no either, but I'm saying that don't be afraid of this. This man's holding on to his money, he's holding on to his coins. You don't have to be like that. Um, yes, check everything, be very careful, make sure you're not rushing things, of course. Make sure you look behind everything, make sure you've checked everything. But don't be afraid of this, don't be afraid. If you've checked everything and you find that this isn't what you want, yes, say no to it. But don't fear, don't let the fear stop you. Don't fear spending on this thing. Don't fear it. That's what I'm seeing now. So Scorpio, I hope this resonated. But as you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. But if you liked this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment or do everything if that's what you'd like to do. Thank you so, so much for watching.